Folks, we never imagined this day would arrive. A few weeks after Ronnie Ortiz Magro apologized to his buddies for his previous behavior and packed his suitcase to go back to Jersey Shore family vacation, Sammy Jonkola and the problematic reality star have been cited filming a forthcoming episode. Naturally, Ronnie and Sammy had a romantic relationship for many years. An insightful TikTok user claims that on Monday, fans in Tucson, Arizona, spotted the ex-couples. Along with Mike Sorrentino and his wife Lauren, Jenny Farley and Zach Carpinello, Dina Nicole Cortez and her husband Chris, Nicole Polizzi, Polly D., Vinny Guadagnino, and Angelina Pivernick and her fiancé Vinny Tortorella. Justin May, Sammy's boyfriend, was also there. On Thursday, though, Vinny uploaded his own TikTok, which showed Sammy and Ronnie sharing a room for the first time in, well, forever. Ronnie traveled to Orlando for the most recent season of Jersey Shore in order to catch up with all of his former cast members, Sammy excluded. Meanwhile, we were treated to a more in-depth discussion between Snooki and Ronnie this past Thursday, which concentrated on the former's history of domestic violence and alcohol misuse. Ronnie expressed his hope to fully come back to the show when asked if he was ready, but Snooki countered that she couldn't wish for the Ron and Sam moment. She is not alone in feeling that way. I'm hoping we can get along. I was stupid and young. I want to talk to her because I feel like I made a lot of mistakes. I believe I should apologize to her. Ronnie was included in a different confessional. I'm excited to see Sam, even though I know I have to. I could have treated her better because many of the things I did while we were together weren't the best. Cut to Snooki meeting the other members of the cast at this point. Aside from Sammy. It seems like Ronnie is, in a good spot, Snooki informed everyone. I believe he is doing excellently. Eventually, I have to talk to Sam, he added. We don't have to communicate. She remarked, I don't need to talk to him, before summarizing her occasionally aggressive ex as follows. I'm done, I don't even know him anymore it's been seven years. I've moved on and am living my life. I'll tell him myself, there's no need to talk, I'm leaving. Nothing further needs to be said to provide closure.